Sports Broadcasting Camp. This is Sports Broadcasting Center. I am Chris Grosslugs, along with my partner, um, Maurice. Or, and Maurice. And the Chicago Blackhawks defeated the Boston Bruins 3-2 in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals to clinch their second Stanley Cup title in four years. Trailing 2-1 to one with just over a minute remaining in regulation, the Hawks are covered from goals from Brian Bickle and Dave Poland to pull off one of the greatest comebacks in Stanley Cup Finals history. Patrick Kane received the Smythe Trophy as playoff MVP. Kane finished with 9 goals and 10 assists in 23 postseason games. The Chicago Cubs will begin their final homestand before the All-Star break with a two-game interleague series against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim starting Tuesday night at Wrigley Field. The Cubs and Angels sp split a two-game series last month in Anaheim. Former Cubs pitcher Jerome Williams will get the start for Anaheim while the Cubs counter with Travis Wood. The Angels are in fourth place in the American League West, while Cubs are in fourth place in the National League Central. Both teams are over 10 games out of first place. <clears throat> the Chicago White Sox will end for the first half of the season on the road, starting with a three-game series against the Tigers in Detroit. This will be the first meeting between the Sox and the Tigers this season. The White Sox will send left-hander Jose Cotenta to the mound in Game 1 against former Cy Young winner Justin Verlander. The Sox are trying to get out of the cellular in the AL Central, AL Central while the Tigers are trying to hold off the Indians for first place. Now on to basketball. The Chicago Bulls selected Tony Stell from the University of New Mexico with the 20th overall pick in the 2013 NBA Draft. Snell, a 7-foot, seven 7-inch seven forward, averaged 12.5 points per game last season with the Lobos. The Bulls drafted, also drafted power forward Eric Murphy out of the University of Florida with their second round selection. Last season, Murphy was selected first team all SEC while shooting over 52% from the floor, including a stellar 45% clip from three-point range. And finally, the Chicago Bears announced the team has signed defensive tackle Cedric Ellis to a one-year contract. Ellis' deal is worth $1 million with $500,000 guaranteed. During his five-year career with the New Orleans Saints, Ellis recorded 134 tackles, 12.5 sacks, and two forced fumbles. It'll wrap it up for, for the sports broadcasting time. For my partners, Marius and, and I'm Chris Grosslands. Good night. Someone has to say that. Someone has to say that.